Guys, let's make my first vlog here. Um, this has been the first video, first uh, video on my YouTube channel for, geez, probably like four or five months. It's been a long time. But, um, got to go out, got two jobs due today. Two pretty easy jobs, pretty much just mowing, edging bushes, just regular stuff. And, um, I got one, she just wants edging and blowing, so it'll be easy. Then tomorrow I have a huge job I got to do. Uh, up in, uh, it's about 45 minutes away. If you live in Columbia, it's up in Little Mountain. Pretty good drive. <clears throat> but, uh, I do that job. That's gonna be good money. That'd be probably about three hundred dollars a piece for us. Got two guys working. I might bring my buddy's little brother on that one. He needs some money, so we'll pay him, you know, ten, fifteen bucks an hour or something. You know, something good. Not fifteen, probably about ten bucks an hour. But um so it makes some good money, he needs some extra money. And uh I'll give y'all a little over tour of my rig and uh I'll show y'all what we do. Here we go. Alright guys, this is my rig here, kinda messed up and getting all the stuff off of it that I ain't bringing but that's my lawn mower, so Hus Varna. Bought that a few months ago, about a month, about a month ago, not a few. That's Hus Varna, HU700H. Great mower, self propelled, real good. I clean cut. Got my weed eater here. It's also Hus Varna. I love that weed eater. Got that a couple, we well, got that what, a week ago. Paid 200 bucks for it. Would have rather had the straight shaft because I hear they have a. Uh, Plastic bushing in here, but I couldn't afford it. It was, you know, 300 bucks. That's 200. So I'm gonna see if I can't find me a uh, straight shaft conversion or something like that. To put on there. We'll figure that out. Head trimmers. That's what I was using as a weed eater before with my little toy built. You know, it works. Not the best. It paid 100 bucks for the head trimmer attachment. Had the weed eater. Got that for free from my grandma's neighbor. But uh, yeah, not my favorite. But it works. It could be sharper. I got to sharpen them up. Mower here, gotta fix the hood. The hood's sitting over there in the bushes. But the hood is a um, Toro. And I believe it is a farm boss or something. I forgot the name of it. I'll look on the hood and tell you. But uh, 19 horsepower, it'll roll out pretty good. I think it's got a 52 inch deck. $5,000 new. That's brand spanking new. Buddy got it for 50 bucks. I mean, that is cheap. And these new blades, it cuts kind of rough right now, but it does. And uh, gotta put air in the tires. But it'll do for today. Most of these yards are going to be pushing more yards anyways. Blower here. It's a steel BR500. Love that blower. Got it for 150 bucks. That thing's got power. That's my favorite piece of equipment I got right now. I love that thing. <clears throat> it'll move the stuff. You got to fix the handle. That's how it was when I bought it. Right from a little pawn shop around here. But Great, great blower right there. It's pretty much like a uh, four-stroke that runs on two-stroke gas. Has valves and everything. And, uh... It's a lot more fuel efficient. A little hus on a handheld blower. Also got that same pawn shop and I got that steel at. It's a uh, 125B. Good for just blowing off sidewalks, stuff like that. Let me show you all my edger. Still paying my buddy off for this one. It's an Echo. It's the nicest piece of equipment I own, that's for sure. Most expensive, other than that mower. It's a uh, PE 230. That thing right there is a boss. Great edger. Uh, edger I had before this one on that Troy build, and it was just absolutely terrible. Vibrate the heck out of you. This thing is nice and smooth. And you really need a good edger if you're going to make good edges. You know, you don't want the yard to look all raggedy because you couldn't get a straight edge going. But yeah, that thing's pretty nice. I love it. I think I'm paying him 200 bucks. I already gave him like 50, so I got to keep on paying him off. He's helping me out a good bit there. But I got all my stuff. You know, the trailer, I think it's a uh, like a 5 by 10 Not very big. It does. These new tires. That's my truck up there. Let me pack it down and I'll give you a little tour of it. And I got to go to work. All right, got the trailer all hooked up. Get ready to uh, head out. I'll give you all a better look at the truck when I get back. I see it right there. It's all 77K10. Small block 350. I love that thing, man. Four-wheel drive. It'll move out. Got to roll out now. I got to pick up my buddy. So we can get to work. Got uh, like I said, two jobs to do. Plus picking up a 2:30. It's like 2:03. It was like 15 minutes away. So gotta get heading up that way and uh, give y'all a better look at the truck when I get back. I'll walk y'all around to show you an engine. I'll let y'all hear it crank up real quick. I'll put this right here for a second. That's pretty good. I'm head
hat singing out from the box, loving life. Sitting under the Georgia sun, my straw hat ripped jeans, man, I'm getting it done with the bamboo pole in my Dixie cup. Lean back, feeling good, just living it up. So everybody gather round, gather round, get down. I said we dropping tail beats, many miles from the town, throwing old trees on the bonfire blaze. I said I wore the same jeans for about three days. I got them rolled up halfway up my shin, so do my next to Ken. You can call me up. Yep, so the concrete wasn't even. It's a little crooked, but we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna blow it out and see it straighten up the best I can. I'll see, like here, I follow the concrete. It's like an S. It's just zigzag all the way up, so hopefully I can make it look straight enough to look good. Blow it out, and I'll give you all another look at it when I get done with it. See what it looks like. Like the Porsche is gonna break. Oh lordy. Well, that thing is all right. There you go. Look pretty good. Do a little bit more weedy on this concrete, get it looking right. Rip some of this stuff out of here, get this out of the walkway. Come back with the loppers. I cannot believe I forgot the loppers. I had to come back with them. Get that out. Get all that tall stuff off that bush. Make it look good. That's pretty much all she wanted today. She just said do this side yard and the front yard. So come, let's come back and do the rest later on. Hey guys, this is good old South Carolina weather. It's about to storm. It was sunny about 50 minutes ago. So I'm pretty good on my weeders and all inside my rack here. Look at that wind. Good boy. About to blow my hat off. <sighs> Got a garage full of stuff right now. Look at that. All kind of stuff. That's how this rack works. A little bark of all. Very good shot. That's how it works. off here comes the rain it's starting to hit the pond over there getting the edger off need both hands for this one guys all right got it off boy it is fixing to rain I'll get y'all some better pictures of the truck real quick. All right, well, before the rain comes in, that's the truck. See a 1979 Chevy K10. Get y'all ready to look under the hood here in a little bit. I gotta run up to the bank and cash this check. All right, so I'm sure this is gonna be shaking. Go pick up my friend and go see if we can find some mud and have a little bit of fun here. It's raining real hard for the first time in probably about a week, two weeks, and it's real hot here, so it dries up real quick, you know, the mud. Hopefully we'll find a little bit of mud. I know one little spot, not very deep, but you can just go out and uh, get some donuts, have fun, depending on there's people whether or not, a little construction site. See what that looks like, and if not, we'll have to find somewhere else. But, uh, we got a little tour of the truck when we get there, and uh, I'll show y'all we'll be getting it muddy. Uh, yep, Let's see what we can find. No one out there. I think there's some mud back here too. I wouldn't tear it up. No, I ain't gonna tear it up. 
It's back in the woods though. This is where we come in the winter when it snows. Make a big old fire out here and hang out. There's a big old field up here you'll see in a minute. I love it out here, man. We've seen so many animals out here. We've seen coyotes, deer. Shine it down in there real quick. Behind you. No, uh, we passed it. Never mind. I was doing a little creek thing in here. I'll show you the slaves right over there. So, it's just a name. No date, no nothing. It says it was slaves. Yeah, if you look it up, this is uh, Hanton's old property. This used to be their plantation. They used to go right over there by the creek. World War I, that's awful. Yep, these are all World War One guys. They're uh, they're all one family. Her, um, the adult granddaughter came out here and planted them. Not planted them, but put the headstones. They were buried here unmarked. And those are the original headstones there for the sleeves. Albert, man. 1912, 1944 is not a. Uh... Yeah, that ain't slavery right there, but that's slavery. That, that's a little after slavery. 1980, 1891. Old ones are over here. It's creepy, but I ain't never been in a graveyard tonight. I get me jittery. I'll oh, run so quick. <laughs> my, dad, my brother. <laughs> Thought that was a spotlight, but that scared the crap out of me. We should have come out here in the daytime. Screw this. <laughs> what the world was that? Something flying, though. All right, let's try not to walk on the grease. It's one of the old ones here, I think. Hey, that old 1842. Step on you, you piece of crap. Some older ones up in these trees, little tiny old headstones. What's that one? Born in 1899, died in 1928. What's that hand? He never seen me run so fast. <laughs> I'd be instant receiver. Come out here in the winter, bro. You kill all the doves you want. They're all over this place. You yep. With the pellet guns, we can't bring the shotguns back here. Yeah, but that thing drops. I'm sure we sit and shoot all them birds. Ah. Well, shoot.
Going back on the road. I ain't that crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, I know you probably can't see me, but uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to go home and go to bed, but uh, make this, uh, this will be my first vlog, really. I'm going to start making these. I'm going to try to make one, you know, every other week. I may put one or two up a week, depending on how it goes, but um, this will be quick and short. This is one day, you know, just like that. You know, just real quick, really, really uh, short. this week we got another big job to do out in st matthews well close to it. it's more like a uh, i wasn't called eastover but we got a little big old yard uh, out in the country huge yard so that's gonna take us quite a bit to get you out of this wind but um yep yeah, this is my last this is my end of the video guys thanks for watching like i said i'll be trying to post a uh you know, post a one or two a week and uh it was time to get used to it. I'm sure they'll hopefully get better and better over time. But uh, I haven't edited it for a while. It's been a while since I made a video. So, you know, I'll get the GoPros running. I'll start using the GoPros again so I don't have to use my phone. This, all videos I'm starting on my phone today. The wife's been kind of sloppy. And, uh, you know, I don't have any clamps. You know, I can't clamp my phone on the fence while I'm weeding. I got to find somewhere to sit my phone. And a big old pain in the butt. But I'll get uh, the GoPros working tomorrow. We'll use them. And, uh, yeah, guys. So hopefully, at the end of the week, I have another video up. That little mountain job, and uh, maybe I'll make another video, post it, you know, tomorrow or the next day on that little weedy trolling motor I made. Load that all up. But yeah, I'm just talking now. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.